Let's draw this up here on the board, Ryan. You want to draw a few plays? Yeah, sure. Trips right. The zone read at Syracuse is a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Because I see four options at the FFCA. We think you guys have the best zone read in America. You got an offset back your right. And you guys are reading the end, just like everybody else, right? Okay. You got a built-in bubble screen, and you got a built-in pop pass. So option number one is you give it. Two is you keep it. Three is you can throw that bubble whenever you get a good free snap, right? Yeah. And number four, I don't know where the hell you guys got that pop pass, man. But uh, how's this sounding? Well, this, Coach me up on this thing. Well, this play is uh, Twins right, 35 weak, wide pop bubble, or whoever this tag receiver is. So, uh, I mean, first off, the run play is 35 weak. Uh, the concept is you want to be able to run it to a three three receiver side. I mean, that, that's where the kind of play originated was. Uh, Hey, if you got if you don't have a, if you don't have a three count over here, if you got a four count, three plus count, you know you just throw a bubble, survive the down. Then we uh, evolved a little bit. Now we're leaving the end. So I'm going to pull it. We're going to free release the Y. He's going to go up to the safety, and uh, it's just going to be a run now. But then we just came up with this where um, you have different options where it's all different types of looks. So say if you're playing like a cover two team. Now you got two high safeties, and um, that's really where you're going to alert the, the pop mask. Because now with the read, you got to put these linebackers in a bind. Are they going to cover the pop, or are they going to try to fill run? So if they fill run too quickly, we'll be able to throw a quick pop over the top, and, and the safeties are too deep to be able to cover. I'm starting to get the feeling you're pretty sharp, man. <laughs> get the feeling you're pretty sharp, kid. So we can run twins right, 35, what do you call it, 35, uh, well, depends wide on, pop bubble? Yeah, uh, 35 wide pop bubble. So you get in this, uh, you get in this Northwestern Wildcat deal, you're signaling all these things over here. You can have a seat here, because i got to okay. show you some of these 35 wide pop. There's your read, right? Right. You're reading that end. So just tell me where it all starts. You're uh, key in the end, or... You're pre-snapping the bubble, aren't you? So I'm reading the end right here, but this goes back to uh, kind of figuring out how their, what their adjustments are going to be and being able to play off outside of it. So here, we were able to squeak that one by, but um, we had the end, get, the end crashes and I had a pull. Same game. I mean, there's your key, right? Right. And a lot of people, they crash that in and they scrape that linebacker for the quarterback. And right. if you have a quarterback that can win, in these one-on-one -on -one situations, you got a guy that's really a nuisance, man. You're yeah. a nuisance, aren't you? You're what What's I that? call, you know what a nuisance runner is? What's that? You're just not going to probably kill somebody, but you're going to drive somebody crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're a, a nuisance running this ball. Okay. I can see that. But against Northwestern, you ran a 35. I showed you giving it for a dash. I just showed you keeping it. Now I'm showing you throwing this bubble. Now I want to know why you do this bubble. Is you're reading the end still, or do you just pre-snap that blitz coming off the left? The linebacker's eyes are inside, his leverage or whatever, and uh, I mean, I just have to be quick with it. I typically have been able to be able, whether the end comes up field or crashes, I've been able to uh, just get the ball out quick um, and then hit the bubble. After you run the 35W wide pop, look at this now. You've handed it, you've kept it, you've thrown the bubble. You're not going to throw the pot past the tight end. How do you get to this? It's really, you know, you got a good look to where you think you're going to be able to, uh, you know, fit it in. I mean, uh, he knew it was a split safety look, and if he's going to take the dive and he's taking the quarterback, who's covering the pot, right? That's right. So you guys have really discovered something at that dinosaur barbecue place. <laughs> So I want to make a big deal about the ball security. You do a heck of a job with two hands on the ball in traffic. But every once in a while, I don't know what it is about you, those gophers, they just dig it out of you, scarlet knights. You put Kasim Green into the first round. I want to congratulate you on that. Thank you, Eric. Look at him. Number 20, he's intercepting you, he's sacking you. Great job, man. Put Kasim Green.
on our show. You better carry the ball, right? right? All the time. You got two hands on the ball sometimes. Your guard gets bowled back into your lap. Sometimes things happen. We got to win the turnover battle. We got to win the turnover battle. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Look at that ball swinging around. What do you think of this slide here? That hurt? Oh, yeah. Seriously. Why would you slide like this? You got a bare leg. You get scratching on the surface. I, I, I went to the, our softball team's coach <laughs> to teach me how to slide. Did you? Oh, yeah. And that's the worst slide I've ever seen? That almost looks like you... I don't know. Maybe you don't like that slide? I thought that looks smooth. Look what it did to your leg. Look at this ball swinging. Look at this crash landing. That was pretty smooth. Not bad. That's not bad. Take care of the ball. Two hands on the ball. Face first. See that? Look at the face. <laughs> Look at Coach Barone. Pulling his hair. He's just like, this, this kid here. Look at this thing. Then you got to go take a snap. Look how bloody your right leg is. See the blood dripping down your leg? Makes me look tough. Huh? Makes me look tough. Boy, I'll tell you what. You got some of the worst uh, slides I've ever seen in my life, man. Ahead on Gruden's QB camp with Ryan Nassib. The way he threw the football was as impressive as any guy I've seen in this draft. Hey, you can 